Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Navy, we're going to be doing a reaction video to Making a Sailor Episode 3. So, I first heard about this series thanks to my boy JT Suits. What a bam! So, uh, if y'all are watching this video, make sure to hit the like button. Bucket? Hit the like bucket? <laughs> hit the like button. Be sure to make it hot, make it spicy, make it plump. And uh, make it thick with three C's for my boy, Papa. And uh, let's get on with it. So let's do it. All right, guys. Here we are. Boot camp making a sailor episode three. So let's do this. Oh, boy. Gather around the learning tree, y'all. It's P days. Oh. Sit up straight. Eyes on me. Damn. I'm Petty Officer Sperry. I will be your lead RDC. Petty Officer 10 will be your second RDC. Petty Officer Gonzalez will be your third RDC. Together, we have eight weeks to transform you and the United States sailors. All right on. It's still eight weeks? You are no longer a civilian. I thought Whatever they, you uh, were before they boosted that. It's now over. It's still you are eight about weeks. to begin right a journey on. that's going to make you a part of the greatest naval force the world has ever known. That's right. This training will not be easy. It wasn't meant to be. You will not be coddled nor disrespected, but you will be held to a high standard. Yeah. Our job as your RDCs is to turn you into basically trained sailors. Your job as recruits is to do what you're taught and give us 100% motivation. That's right. You'll all be treated the same, no matter oh, yeah. your sex, cultural background, religion, or sexual orientation. There are no individuals in the military. That's right. <laughs> We're the many, but we operate as one unit. For this team to be successful, you have to work together. If you fail, the team fails. That's right. Get on your feet. Get, Get up. up. Let's go. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. My name is Petty Officer Sperry. I'm a recruit division commander at Damn. Recruit Training Command. All divisions start off basically the same. They're, they're very scared. They don't know what, what they're supposed to expect 49. during their eight-week training. 51. Turn your head. It's easy. Say your number. 51. 52. 52. 53. No. Pay Stop. Pay attention yeah. to Turn your head and say your number. Now, when I went in, they still had all male divisions. I don't know if, uh, if they still have those anymore. But they have integrated divisions. They had all male divisions. I don't know. If, I'm a recruit division commander. I don't know if that's the case anymore, though. Great Lakes. But, uh, Processing days. Yeah. That's where you're issued on your P days, your baby. Issue. They have their basic medical. Oh yeah, they got the, the type threes on. Oh yeah, these shots. shots, man. Like every everybody so, worries about week, these shots. You get a lot of shots. You know, everybody's you worried about the peanut butter shot. Everything which goes you need in your to ass. continue the but rest of your training. The one shot so that hurt the most were, were was one shot. This one corpsman got like right in my shoulder, and my shoulder was so stiff that it just. Oh, it hurts so fucking bad. We got so work done, which we just finished today. But the, uh... It was long, a long, long process. You know, the friggin' peanut butter shot was nothing, man. But, yeah, dental work. Everything <laughs> that you do is with a purpose. That's interesting. And you do it to the best of your ability. We want to... I don't think I've seen that uniform before. And we let them know that, you know, you haven't even started training yet. You haven't even it's begun to experience exactly what we're about to subject you to it. Oh, yeah. And then you start teaching them the very basics, how to stand at attention. How come they how got to different see, colored uh, how to do shoes? Face movements, left face, right face, about right. face. Unless it's... Learning how to fold things, learning Ooh. how to do things correctly. Yeah, I, I, I sucked at folding, minutes. man. Oh my God. Getting them corners in, I to fucking... To shave and brush uh, your teeth. I fucking sucked. We are going on 25 Ooh. minutes. Shark tank. This is unset. Oh man, you gotta watch. Let's go! The first few it's almost like I can smell the compartment don't really know how like real this is. <laughs> it's crazy. You understand? You're here to get better, not to stand freaking lazy. You understand? Yes, Petty Officer. Then don't stand like that. I shouldn't be repeating myself when I already trained. Some people Damn. really have a negative effect to that, and they don't like being talked to like that. And then some of them Yo, understand the process shit. and understand that that's hey, us hey, being hey, on hey, 100% hey, all the time is what's going to make them head. a better sailor so in the end. Can tell your number. You know, I don't. Uh, everything they do, I don't take it personal. 
Yeah. Because I realized they well, are training me to be a sailor. Luis has got a, he's got a good a mindset, man. Um, you know, like, and it's like for me, know my recruiter told me that boot camp is basically like do well. summer camp, you know, they've all been through really angry camp themselves. counselors. So um, they have gone through a lot of training just themselves to be do what RDCs. you're told. So when you're told, how you're told, to do it. Remember and, that and uh, give them that equal amount of respect um, really helps me get through it. They've been they've been good. You know. they, don't, they only really um, again if you're doing the right thing. They're not going to be yelling at you. Yeah. They got the ring coats on now. Why are you here? You're two, three, zero. Get across the freaking hall. All right. We have to yell at them a lot and get them to understand that we need them not just to react to what we're saying, but to react fast. We're yep. going to make it uncomfortable for them. We're oh, yeah. Make it Especially so at first. They are able to want hey, to have confidence. The, uh, in themselves and their abilities. The, uh, uh, the Smurf hoodie is different to too. Because, like, my old one had the, uh, and so like that's the emblem we create a right smack in the center, not that's just little navy on the keep corner. The temp up. Damn. What did your RDCs tell you about failure? If you fail, who fails? Everybody fails. The whole team! Everybody. Your initial PFA that's is tomorrow! True. Oh, boy. You need to understand that. If you fail, are you, are you, you will get set back. Yeah. Like, so tomorrow PFAs really were kind of hard for me. Um, it's going to be their baseline uh, PFA where they're going to be required to run the first name is half, unique. Do a number amount of sit ups and push ups. Some won't um, make it, so someone's going to go home. Yeah. Um, even as out of shape as I was, uh, I, I still, uh, I still managed to pass. Give me a gallon of water. Let me drink it. I just didn't, no, we were all really stressed about, you know, um, get up to the standards that they wanted to me to be at first. Let's go. Get up you know? there. Come on. Don't think about it. Let's yeah. go. Come on. Five more. Yeah. Five yeah. More. I yeah. You, you got to just yeah, fucking I do it, man. You can't be, it. you know, like all cry and like, I can't so, do it. Oh my God. Hopefully I can pass the next one. Fucking breathe and do it. With the PFA, because if, um, if this fat body can do it, man, it you guys can before coming to do it and probably smoke the me day doing before, it. I got really, for real. really sick. That's real ass Still, talk. Still, I right felt there. sick during the PFA, but I just you pushed because I didn't want to get separated. Yeah, and that was my thing too. Like push so ups and sit ups, it's fine. Is just that it's it was just the run. It's not even the I actual PFA standard. At running, line. and if they can't meet the baseline, then you know, they probably need to find something else to do. And that was the only thing I really failed on. Was well, not really failed, but just got below standard, I guess, is what they wanted. It was like barely passing, but uh, yeah. And also because, you know, my weight was higher than what they wanted, um, they were at first paying a little bit of extra attention to me, but tired, once I started, you, you know, really like stepping up, heavy, then uh, they well, eventually up, laid off. You know? Week one of actual so. boot camp, they can expect Just gotta get in there, man. to be staying yeah. up Late, long hours, working at a fast oh, pace. Man. They're going to be expected to pass their swim qualification. And yeah, swim call is a, swim a, is a big one, man. And, those and I heard that, that with this uh, with this new boot the camp, they've changed yeah. a lot of things. So have to bring it, together it used one. to be you just jump off, and uh, make sure swim 50 meters, uh, do a so prone float. Days, we, we are allowed and we are aggressive with and them, but we... That's about it, really, from what I can remember. I think there was a third thing, but uh, that was the main thing. Because come week one, just jump off, then it's not, swim 50 meters, to train every do a thing prone float, over and over again. They and need you're, to learn it. You're Gucci. So we're we're but, uh, telling them at first they need to pick stuff up, and this is how you know, it has to be done. One thing I recommend one, if you guys aren't happens, good at swimming is to take the remedial classes at first. Then they're actually You know, for me, even though I'm good at swimming, I didn't know. Like proper stroking, Anything that you, were before, you know, you because they were very particular on that. So uh, goodbye to that. I just That's took gone. like one remedial course just to kind of get the hang of it, because as long as and also to get my body used to the water. So by the time actually, life, because of where you live, you know, jumped off, of I was you fine. Breathe, you must be ready. Yeah, always ready. Exactly. And if you're not ready, we don't need you. And that's how it is, man. That's how it is. So yeah, guys, that was episode three of Making a Sailor. And I know I kind of went off on a little bit of a tangent um, with this one. I just saw a lot of good talking points with it, you know, in discussing the PFA, 
uh, swim quals and things like that. Um, I've heard they've changed up a lot of those and just wanted to get that info out there. But I think they're going to go into more detail with the next episode, not for sure. But uh, in any event, guys, that does it for this episode of Andy Talks Navy. And with that said, this is the Andy Sign. Sign for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.